one of the best in my sport. I need to prove it each and every day. My name is Jerome Singleton Jr. I'm from Irmo, South Carolina, and I'm a Paralympic track and field athlete. I actually don't think too much about having two limbs. I'm actually thankful for the position I've been put in, because I know that if I didn't have my birth defect, I wouldn't be the man I am today. I always had the desire to be two to three times better than my counterparts. We're back at my old stomping grounds out here at Dutch Fork High School in Normal South Carolina. And this school's played a tremendous role in my life. I kind of think it uh, prepared me to become a Paralympic athlete. They gave me a chance to play football, to run track, and to play basketball. I all did, a, did all this in a, a walking everyday leg. I looked at academics the same way I looked at sports. I wanted to be the best. Right now, the focus is London 2012, see how far I can take it with, with athletics. But if I was to finish and got to do something, I would like to become a math professor. And your mind's gonna take you where you wanna be. Your body can fail at any time. How fast am I? I never really consider myself that fast, <laughs> but I will be fast enough. <laughs> That's the whole goal. Just, I don't run for times, I run for medals. in 2012, I kind of look at it as where we're going to decide who's the fastest. I raced against my competitor, he's the Paralympic champion. I'm the world champion. We need to decide who's the best. Is a double amputee faster than a single amputee? And we're going to find out. <laughs> and so it really does motivate me. I always tell myself, you're supposed to be the best in the world. You're the fastest amputee in the world. And if you don't train hard and do what it takes to, to do that, you're not only disrespecting yourself, you're disrespecting the sport and all these people who've invested in you and really want you to succeed. This means so much to me. It's, I'm just thankful. I know that everyone here wants me to succeed and you know, having so many people invested, you gotta do good.